Keisha, a lot of people were caught off guard when they heard about the anti-Muslim message. Bloomfield police are investigating after a butcher shop was vandalized with anti-Muslim messages. Saba live poultry has been at the center of controversy after a worker publicly slaughtered a cow. It's a story NBC Connecticut Investigates was first to report. Dominique Moody is live in Bloomfield now with the new developments. Dominique. Keisha, a lot of people were caught off guard when they heard about the anti-Muslim messages. And right across the street, you can see the words are covered. But the feelings are fresh for one of the owners of the business, as well as Bloomfield's mayor. Usually you see something like this on the news and it's very far from you, but this is like in our in our backyard. Early Wednesday morning, Bloomfield police surrounded the Sabalai poultry looking for any clues as to how these messages ended up on the side of the building. I never imagined it, to be honest with you. It, it was shocking to me. Ali Ahmed left last night after a full day of work inside of the building, but returned to anti-Muslim sentiments, stating Muslims go home and cease with the needless slaughtering. Muslim support groups like the Council on American Islamic Relations are condemning the words with the following statement, which reads, in part, we abhor the hate calls and graffiti that have been received by the local Bloomfield business. We as Americans from all walks of life are better as a nation because of our diverse backgrounds and heritage. Anyone who thinks that hate and bigotry should play a part in the American way of life today should question their own allegiance to our great nation and our values as Americans. For a minute, I was like, oh no, this is not happening, uh, not here in Bloomfield. Bloomfield's mayor, Suzette Brown, says the hate speech does not reflect the town's morals. To hear that someone would deliberately put something on a building to demean a group of people is heartbreaking. Brown says the goal is to unite the community instead of practicing hate towards one another. The fabric of our town is a welcoming community. The investigation is underway as well as construction inside the business. Ahmed says that they will continue to welcome customers into the business despite this accident. We are live in Bloomfield. Dominic Moody, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha. Dominic